Joker's. Of course, Hero can delete Joker's stock immediately, but Joker has Rebel's Guard, and also, um, once Big Brother Arsene comes out, he can use the counter to uh, really reflect a lot of the um, moves Check that out. Hero puts out. And then you can get your stock taken at like 20-30% if the right move is reflected back on you. Uh, now that, uh, Rebel's Guard really isn't the issue, it's just uh, the gun is a big pain in the butt. Like anything that can force Hero to either stop charging the Razzle or make him put down the menu, that's a huge W. And not only that, Joker just has really good combo moves on Hero. Absolutely. Oh, and you, you can see uh, Luminous just being, you know, and the Frank Reynolds, he's it, just him doing the, anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it, it's work. Okay, but then Aki Kicks is getting something started, gets the first hit of Nair, but doesn't lead to anything. Just gets the drag down up air into another grab, not opting for a down smash or anything yet. I think it may have almost killed, but there's also not a lot of rage on the Minasa right now, so. I know. You, not, you probably opted to go for the grab instead, though. Uh, definite damage. Yeah, if Luminous wants to get the stock uh, without much more damage, you probably have to go for, like, either a raw read or, uh, like, a, like, they're stepped on the back, good back air. That said, okay. though, party, party time is out active. Yeah, but that was insane. Even though Aki Kicks did lose the sock right there, that was really, really good just tech skill. When he got knocked down from the fair one, he immediately teched, so the down smash didn't confirm. That was that was just good. That, that was, I mean, I mean, I still got the stock, but that was just so good. I mean, that's what happens when, I guess, your rival is kind of MK Leo at this point, because that's yeah. probably who Leo has the most, not the most trouble with, but MK Leo has, they've had multiple sets oh. in it. I believe Aki Kiksu may still have a positive record on him, if not really, really close. I mean, the, the next rivalry of uh, 2025, Aki Kiksu and uh, Leo. That would be insane, but I mean, there's always a cola as well, but he is still winner side bracket, just hanging out. I mean, that's, that, that's what Akola does. He just kind of hangs out. But that said, though, Luminous is uh, I mean, damn solid this round. Yeah, insanely good. Just Aki Kixa cannot find this stock, which is kind of weird that um, Hero can't find the stock at 100% on a light-ish character like Joker. Okay, I thought he was doing the Joker true combo of fast fall too fast into your death. But I caught cost slip in air, and that is enough stuff. Uh, misread on the roll, but it gets a second chance. And these punishes are not coming easy for Aki Kikisu. Uh, he's just being so good and tricky with his movement. So Aki kicks, oh, that would have probably been the stock, but Ruminasi yeah, was, was very smart to jump over it and just get the back air to get the stock off the side. And I really like that Luminous managed to save party time until he came, like Aki, Aki Kikisu came back to stage. That says he's not really doing much with it this time. I think this is the second time we've seen Arsene this, this uh, whole game. Yeah, it's just I mean it's just because Aki he's not really using Rebels Guard and Aki Kik just really isn't hitting him that much to be completely honest. As I say that, uh, gets hit the with a forty damage move and. There we go, there's KO. All right, Aki Kikisu keeping it terra firma, and to the degree, even the, even the game up, but uh, that evenness is slowly fading away. Yeah, it's just he's caught in the Joker blender right now. Oh, the knockdown, not enough. Gets the gravity back throws off stage. The Aha co collided with the uh, Kaboom. Yeah, and the Kaboom, that made the Kaboom not reach Joker, which is very, very good for the sake of Luminous. Is he going to get Zoom? Yeah. Yes. It. Yeah, I mean, he, it's not, he always gets Zoom. He held that Zoom until the absolute last minute. Now, keep in mind, uh, the swoosh is, like, I think a one or two frame out of shield option for Hero. Yeah, it's it's so good. The only problem is if you use it too much, the um, and the opponent mm -hmm. starts to catch on, then it can be a problem for you. But it's such a safe option, and I've seen Aki kicks it as of late, using it to edge guard people. Just kind of just dropping down and during a, a drop zone up B sounds weird, but using a, a drop drop zone up B and then just basically pushing the opponent far from the stage because there's nothing you can really do in that situation. 
Especially if uh, Joker has to use his tether, because there's only so many angles he could come back. If you have a, a swoosh there, you know, that's a good forward air. Ah, I got scared there at the end. Yeah, seems like he got scared. Because, I mean, it, it that being that far off stage at that percent, even getting slightly tipped by that probably would have taken the stock. So, yeah, Ruminasa got a little bit freaked out and unfortunately fell to lose his stock. So, we're going to a game two. And you, you hate to see it because Luminas was up basically the entire time. And then Maki just slowly, slowly, slowly brought it back. And that's the side of a top tier player is someone who can be down for most of the round and still keep their head in the game, still play rock solid. That's definitely a sign of a uh, like a champion in the making. We're going back to the Hollow Bastion. Yeah, this is a this is a really good Joker stage. Can get really good resets off the platforms, and also it's um in a it's a really good height to where you can get the um, drag down up air combos and hopefully put on a lot of percent and then up smash them. So this is a very, very common Joker counterpick stage. All right, I like uh, Kikikisu. Here's not zoom back to stage and gets the pokes. Yeah, calling out Luminos is just, I mean, Joker can play really grounded, but he gets most of his um, mileage starting from either an aerial or a grab normally with fair one leading into basically every attack the joker has or going for down throw right there but nothing left but with how good um hero's forward air is luminous is gonna have to be a little bit more weary of just jumping like that oh yeah there you go there's that combo it's the leo one of the combos that Leo is coined. I, I mean, I mean, let's be real. Anytime somebody gets a fair one to a fair drag down into down smash or up smash or something, everybody goes, "Oh, that's the MK Leo." Yeah. It's lots of up airs coming from Luminous. That's so good at poking through the shield, especially on the platform. But interception with the forward air on Kikikisu. That forward air is so insanely good against calling out ledge jumps, and. And it'll hit a neutral getup as well if spaced correctly. So it's just a really, really good edge edge guarding tool. Right. I think it's more important that like Aki Kikisu knows when to it can choose its battles. He's not just you know throwing it out there and hope Luminous runs into it. He's definitely choosing spots where he knows he's gonna run into the bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have a funny, don't even have a funny name for it right now. And okay, gets the the arson nair, but is probably not going to lead anything. Just puts him back off stage. Never mind. How, how's that for leading into something, Boston? Insanely good stuff coming in from Nimbus, and he's just he's just doing what a lot of jokers do. He's just doing it so well that Aki Kixon doesn't really have an answer, at least in this game. Okay, okay, he was just styling on him. It's the double parry on that move. That's one of those things where you have to be insanely confident in your parries because that is, if you don't get it, then it's your stomach. Basically. All right. It was juiced up with the, oh, what was it? Like up, so that four there definitely going to get the KO. Aki Kikisu, once again, we found the stocks, but Aki Kikisu is bleeding. Yeah. But... He already has him up to 60%. One more hit, and that'll probably be Arsen, and there he is. But he just can't get off the sledge. I get Arsen again, used... thanks to the Rebels card. I think he used the counter right there. Uh, Even though it didn't hit, it gave him armor through that move. So that was really good coming in from Arduminasa to avoid that more than likely right. stock-taking move. Yeah. Uh, how much so... have killed? That uh -oh. move is money in the bank especially when it's powered up like that it is stupid strong oh it's stuff like that too when it's powered up it goes from heroes up tilt which is already pretty strong to like bowser's up tilt Ugh. right and it, and it just covers such a huge range too you can't roll through it you can't jump in on it 
It's just, just you ha you have to get away or you have or you have to shield it and risk getting shield broken. So your only real option right there is risk a parry, but a lot of people aren't ready to do that at that point in time. Ah, nah, 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 that's way too hard. Unless you're just... Yeah, exactly. Unless you have, you know, real-life foresight, but... Hands are, you probably don't. Yeah. Person with foresight in this matchup right now is Aki Kiksu, because he got those eye drops in right before the set, so he's ready for yeah. this. I've, I've, I've called the judge on that one. I was enhancing, uh... Substance right there. Mm. Oof, Rebel's Guard. Yeah, a lot of uh, hero stuff. Just there's strings, not really true combos. So, if yeah. Aki Kiki is just swinging too much, this can definitely use that to his advantage. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing that's I don't want to say frustrating, but it is kind of like the way Hero plays. And what? That was some, that was some sus DI on Aki. Aki's that was card. seriously sus DI. Fight. But yeah, he just obviously wasn't ready for that. So really good stuff on him. And that's, um, to we take the, we no, you the take it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the tech and the tether back. Good stuff coming from Luminosa. But this may be the stock if he's not able to get back from ledge. Yeah, because that's psych up for there. Again. Yeah, how many has he hit? Like, what, four or five of those bad boys? I think he's hit like four or five, and at least three of them have taken the stock. So yeah. it's insanely good knowing that it works and using it effectively coming in from Aki. So, Air. Excellent. Strings from Luminous. Like string like Luminous is getting the strings. He's getting like I say pound for pound. Luminous has been getting more hits. He just hasn't been able to get it, been able to get like, you know, decisive moments. Actually close out any of these games. Yeah, gets the gets the down air to up smash, but not quite enough to take the stock yet. Okay, tries or there. pressure with back Press. air, but gets the F smash anyways. And, but this is basically how every game has been so far. Okay, good counter. Like, Luminous has the lead, and then Aki Kiksa just slowly makes his way back. And that has gotten him the first two games. We just hope that Luminous can make a change in this one and not get hit with that. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, for Thwack and Whack, I think it's guaranteed KO after 130, but hey, there is that chance. Yeah. We've all been hit by, like, a level... I get by a Thwack at... Zero percent just erased. Just vanished, yeah. Ugh. Oh, the dash Ooh. attack. What kind of anti-air was that? It works uh, though. A good, a good one apparently. Uh, it is on Numinous to kind of keep this momentum going and hopefully take this game because what is happening right now is basically a repeat of the past two games. Ah. Mm. Oh. On Smash, not enough, so Aki Kicks is probably going to zoom back to the stage, and there he is. Yeah, it had to get that. It's so out of MP that rely on anything else. Yeah. Kiki too. The back air, not enough, not enough yet, but as you had pointed out, yeah. Uh, Aki Kicks basically has no MP yet, and he can't just go back and. Ooh, okay, really good <laughs> empty hops coming in. Is that enough? Oh, he uh, waited too long. Wasn't confident to confirm. Oh, no. I like this, Luminous. Alright, party Person time is back now, So, forward tilt, dash attack, basically anything will take the stock. It is just on Akikiksu to capitalize, because he does have a little bit of MP built up now. All right, does use it to get the balance, and a hard read on the throw. Frazzle doesn't pay out. The sh throw should be a KO, no. I wanted to go for oh, the death he, insurance, he hit, but. He, he hit him for too long, he should have just let go, and, and this, this is. Yeah, Eaters. Eaters, there we go. Forward throw. Okay. Uh, what was it? I think at that percent, I don't think up. I think it might have been like a 50 50. Like, Baki Kikusu was predicting the up throw. He was already DIing for that. Yeah, but at 200% with Arsan, I think it still would have killed, even with like perfect DI. Oh, well, I mean, still, it was just a good like, like 50 50 there. I think Akikusu was uh, hosed out of the way, but Illuminous made the more. Uh, Wrinkled, had the more wrinkly brain in that last interaction. Yeah, hit him with the DI mix up and went, because basically any Joker in that circumstance would have went for a uh, throw, but he went for the, <laughs> excuse me, he went for the forward throw to hopefully get the DI mix up because knowing forward throw would have killed anyways, it was just a safe option. Okay, going We're to Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, I like this. 
Got a bit more platforms to play around with, a bit more range to run around in, or top deck in. And uh, still having the small blast zone so your hero can kill insanely early. Yeah, I don't really think like blast zones are yeah, blast zones aren't an issue for hero, but just having the broom to constantly be juiced up at is more important and runs right into the zapple. Lands on the zap, I should say. Arco slash! Oh, it doesn't get the KO. It's the grab to the forward throw, nothing back yet. But uh, Akihisa has a pretty big 140% lead, and that up tilt would have taken it right there. Yeah, Just I think it up because of psych up, enough throw will also do it to finish the job. At this percent, yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. But Eaters. this is the prophecy. Right, and gets a bit of healing for good measure. Yeah, it doesn't really need it, but why not, right? Yeah, uh, like, uh, like we said, the, the saying is, smoke them if you got them. Yeah, smoke them if you got them, boys. And Akikix is definitely smoking Luminessa right now in this game. Already up 50%. Is he able to get another hit? Gets the... Okay, the down hey, uh... arrow. going to take it. Thanks for the Arsene power-up. Yep. Uh, the X-Factor. It's the original, uh, well... the original Before... X-Factor. And you could see, because he got knocked back, his ledge invincibility was already out. So that maybe would have killed if it was maybe a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah the uh, Thwack would have definitely KO'd if he was over 130, but yeah, Luminous was playing with fire, but ends up getting hit with the board air for like the fourth KO of the set. Right now, Aki Kikusu is just being on a clinic. Yeah, he... he... Um, on Hollow Bastion, Rominus was really doing well in almost every game, but in, on PS2, or I don't know, Hockey Kicks has the download, it's just he seems unstoppable. Seriously. But Luminous is, has to put in some work right now. Big Papa Arson can definitely help out, but that is going to go away fairly soon, and right on cue gets the back air. So, I mean, he, he does have a bit of percent to make up, but he... As far as Ooh. the big stock deficit he had, he already made that back. So if he's able to get a few things started, maybe one uh, takes off. At a heal, at a heal. I mean, it doesn't do that much when you use it off a new stock. It goes to 11 percent, but it's still just, it's just one of those things. Yeah. And uh, zoom okay, out of zoom to get away from the ledge trap situation, but he is sitting in neutral right now. He does have the power up right now, so any strong hit will more than likely kill, but it goes away. Yeah. And Lucas has brought this back. It goes away after a short amount of time, but Psych Up lasts a really long time or until you just use a physical attack. Yeah, there's Psych Up right now. There's, there's know. the Christmas tree Joker, the scariest sight in all of Ultimate, maybe. And gets the forward air, but it is not enough from across the stage. So Luminous has basically brought this back, but one more hit, and that may be enough. Right. Yeah, we got we are, we are psyched up right now. So that next hit from Hero is going to oh, be deadly. Bro. And just it's him with the trunks. A good good job. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's unfortunate coming through, but because Luminous almost had that coming up. Almost had that reversal coming back through, but Aki Kicks had just fought through and in a 3 1 fashion. So good stuff to both players, but Aki Kicks will be moving on in winner side and Ruinas will drop down into losers. And yeah. looks like we got Meister coming up. I'd recognize that hair anywhere. <laughs> Meister versus Akola. And we should say, like, yeah, we're doing a remote uh, broadcast. So this tournament is taking place in Osaka. Uh, we are not in Osaka right now. We're actually in our homes in Akio for me. 